Today I will show you how to build a uh, advanced visual with advanced card and the column chart, a column and line chart. So let's switch over to my monitor. So now you can see here we have a simple advanced card and we have here a line and clustered column chart. So very simple. And from these both, we can get this. So you can, with some clicks, you get this astonished design. First of all, my version, very important, is the April 2024 version. So be sure if you want to use all the features to have the right version. Uh, some of the um, features are already available since um, since the start of the year so, or the end of the last year. So, yeah. Okay, then let's start. Um, let's copy the page. And let's start with the cart. I will delete this both this one as well and now let's start with the card okay first of all um we will add the reference labels so go to the format your visual uh, pane on the right side open the reference labels and here we can add our reference labels which are you see it here on the right side in the other advanced card previous year delta previous year and gross percentage so put in all these measures we can also go through the measures uh, it's very simple the previous year is uh, Calculate was the same period last year. The delta is simply as a revenue minus the previous year. And, uh, the gross percentage is a divide uh, from the difference between the revenue at the previous year through the previous year. Okay, first we see um, that it's not look like the card above. So we have to make sure uh, in the reference labels that we select here all in the select series. And then we can go to the options and say right of call out. So we have here the call out on the right. Then we can go down, disable the background. So you have a nice white background. And then uh, also you can, yeah, you can say, I don't want a, a divide sign, but, um, I, I would use it so <laughs> uh, the divider is uh, yeah just good thing to have then um of course we have to go through the different uh call out values here to the reference labels so make sure to select series go to the revenue labels then um select the label of the delta previous years here and go to the values, open it and go to the front color, choose the conditional formatting, go to the field values and choose the measure up and down color. And you see uh, it directly uh, go into red. Um, then let's go to the next label, choose gross percentage. Same thing, go to the values, choose FX for the conditional formatting, choose field values, and again, choose the measure up and down color. And you see immediately it's also changed their color. So if you want to see what is in the measure, um, I will show you in a moment. So you see here we have um, our gross percentage and then we have some uh, conditional uh, things here. So if it's uh, zero then gray if it's bigger than zero green and so on very simple next thing so we have still here our revenue label so let's go to the call out value select the revenue 
and say that you don't want the label for the revenue. So then the title will disappear. Next thing, we have here a little error uh, on the right side of our revenue. So let's go to our images, open the images and activate it, the images. Go on image type, image URL, and choose our next measure, which is our revenue trend. So let's put in trend simpler. And it's OK. You see it's very big. So uh, let's reduce the size. Uh, go to size and put in 38. It makes it a bit smaller. And now you can see it's, we are nearly there. Uh, of course, uh, we have some um, sizes uh, to reduce and to make it bigger here on the reference labels. And so let's do this. Go back to our yeah, call out value. Let's start with this one and say we want to have it in 30. It's a good size, I would say. You can also say I want to have it in the middle. Also good. And let's go to the reference labels and choose first growth percentage, title can closed, values. Let's say we want to have this in 14 and also the other values. Of course, you can also choose on top all. It will make it easier, right? But let's go through it now. And OK, what else do we have here? the revenue versus previous year, so the title. In general, you will find the title, switch it on, and put in the text you want. So I like to use Windows and the dot uh, button to choose here some icons. And then you can put in here the revenue versus uh, previous year. And make it a bit bigger, alignment in the middle. And there's still the divider missing. So let's turn on the divider. Go to the color, go to FX, and choose field values again. And again, our measure color up and down. And you see it will um, yeah, uh, have a nice red tone here and make it a bit bigger so you can see it better. And of course, one last thing, we have still this frame in the card. So we have to um, disable it. So let me search for border. There it is, header icon, border card. There it is, cards, border, and out. Great. Last thing, uh, if you want to have it in, in black mode, of course, you have to turn every value white. So <laughs> you can see it uh, on the black background. Simply uh, insert. If you don't have a proper background uh, um, created in PowerPoint, you can create directly a shape here in um, Power BI, put on this shape and format it so that it's go in the back, send it to back. Now we have it in blue. And you see still we have a background on our card. So go back to the right to our uh, format pane. Um, go to general effects and go to background, background off. And we see we have another background, which is not off. So let's see if we will find it. There it is, card background. And now this is better. And switch again back to the card and make it black. So on shape, you will find the style and the color and the fill. Turn it into black or let's say a gray, darker gray. It's better, yeah. And the last thing here, we have to turn the values white. So go back into the visualization pane, go to title, switch it to white, and go to the visual section, go to the reference labels, choose and select labels all, and turn the values white. 
as well as uh, the divider. Otherwise, we will, won't see them. See it. And the last thing is the colored value in which we will also trim the color white. And now you see here, oh, we have still the frame, the border from the shape, which is on the style and on the border and turn it into dark gray. And you see the previous year still missing. So let's go back to the reference labels and select the previous year maybe it didn't check that we turn it into white and the values of course not only the titles so also the values because the other values have already the conditional formatting in it with the red and the gray and the green so now it's finished and we have our card looks perfect you can um, adjust the uh, border you can make it not that round but in the end it looks like the card I've created before so if you have questions um, reach out and that's it bye bye